It's time now for a look at latest in local news. In the news, both the City of Jessup Commissioners and the Wayne County Board of Education have meetings set for today. School Board meets at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center, and the $64,000 question is will they be able to reach an agreement and pass the fiscal year 2025 budget, which they were not able to do at their June meeting. Instead, they passed a spending resolution for the month of July. Fiscal year 25 budget back on the agenda today, and the Board is hoping to pass a budget at today's meeting. Also on the agenda, discussion on the Agricultural Education Building and the ROTC facility. Facility. Both projects approved when the voters passed the East Blast, but this process currently on hold as the board rejected all bids submitted for the two projects, stating that bids were way too high. Board member Todd Wise stating he didn't see the need to spend more than $5 million on both projects combined. All this to be discussed again today at the school board meeting. Fiscal year 25 handbooks are on the agenda for approval. Athletic information on the agenda. Several board policies, a discussion on capital outlay projects. Former board member Joe McPipkin expected to be on hand for a special recognition. Put the participation on the agenda. Again, it's all set for this afternoon at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center located at 1365 West Thorn Street. WIFLFM will be on hand at a full report on Wednesday's newscast. Also meeting tonight at 7 p.m. at City Hall as the Jessup City Commissioners. Their agenda is as follows. Under old business, a discussion of pool operations with City Manager Nick Ellis. Also discussion on SPLOS 4 remaining in balance. Public participation on the agenda under new business approval to purchase flock cameras with the police department. Police Chief Chris Hamilton on hand for that. Approval to bid East Cherry, I'm sorry, approval to bid East Jessup Gravity Source Survey and Manhole Rehab with Water Supervisor Anthony Crawford. Public here in Rezone 1203 Bethlehem Road from R1 to C3. Public here in Rezone 1797 South First Street from R2 to C3. Final plat approval for the South Palm Street subdivision on the agenda. An executive session, items with the city manager, items with the commissioners, items with the mayor. All that taking place tonight at City Hall at 7 p.m. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. In other news, another event concerning the death of Noah Bush is planned for this Saturday, July 20th at 2 p.m. at Cracker Williams Park as attorneys and family members of Noah Bush not satisfied as they're asking that the parents of those two juveniles be charged in the case. Thus far, one parent's been arrested and charged with truancy as her child missed over 80 days of school this past school year. So when she arrived in court during last Wednesday's detention hearing, she was arrested by the Wayne County Sheriff's Department and charged with truancy and remains in the Wayne County Jail. Two juveniles ages 10 and 11 remain in a, deten in a detention center in Claxton, Georgia, after the three-hour detention hearing held last Wednesday in front of juvenile Judge Jerry Caldwell. The juveniles were ordered by the judge to have a mental evaluation before their next court hearing. We're still waiting word on when that next court appearance will be for the two juveniles who face criminal charges. Ten-year-old faces charges of concealing the death of another and criminal trespassing, while the 11-year-old faces charges of simple battery, involuntary manslaughter, concealing the death of another, and criminal trespassing. Once again, both were granted bond, but bond has not been able to be posted, so both children have been sent to the Juvenile Detention Center in Claxton, Georgia. That's where they remain until their next court appearance. Sheriff's Department says the investigation is still ongoing. We continue to follow the story as it develops, but again, a rally planned for Saturday at 2 p.m. at Craig Williams Park as the family and their attorney is still seeking charges against the parents of the juveniles. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, a couple of back-to-school events that are scheduled. The Wayne County Board of Tourism, the Jessup Downtown Development Authority, and the Wayne County EMA, once again hosting Touch a Truck. The event's going to take place Saturday, August 10th from 9 to 1. The event features heavy equipment, emergency vehicles, tow trucks, bucket trucks, along with food and information booths where kids can see them up close. The event will be centered around West Walnut Street between North Macon and Northeast Broad Streets. The streets will be closed to vehicles. First hour of the event will be a quiet hour for sensory sensitive children. During this time, no sirens will be used. Visitors are encouraged to shop local businesses in the downtown area for back to school supplies. For vendor or booth information, contact the Wayne County Board of Tourism Office at number 912 427 3233. Or for vehicle participation and information, contact Donnie Gray at 912 424 0376. Again, the second annual Touch a Truck event set for Saturday, August 10th from 9 to 1 in downtown Jessup and middle school, Arthur Williams Middle School hosting a sixth grade jump start August 1st from 5.30 to 8 p.m. This is for parents, students, and guardians. Jump start serves as an opportunity for you and your upcoming sixth grade student to learn about middle school. The focus during this time is to connect with you at East Transition to Middle School. 
<coughs> Jumpstart engages upcoming students with fun activities like a school tour and fashion show. You get the opportunity to meet the staff, receive information on block schedules, buzz block and connections. Also on sports, band and school rules, and sixth grade expectations. Once again, the date, August 1st from 5.30 at 8 p.m. at Arthur Williams Middle School here in Jessup. That's going to do it for the latest in local news, sports.